Welcome, everyone, to the CodeZultan channel. Today, we will be discussing grounding electrode conductors at the service equipment, as specified in Section 250.24e. Section 250.24e states that the grounded electrode conductor should be utilized to establish connections between the equipment grounding conductors, service equipment enclosures, and, if the system is grounded, the grounded service conductor, and the grounding electrodes required in Part 3 of this article. The size of this conductor must adhere to the guidelines outlined in Section 250.66. Additionally, connections for high impedance grounded neutral systems should comply with the instructions provided in Section 250.36 or 250.187, as applicable. In the illustration, the grounding electrode conductor establishes the connection within a service equipment enclosure. The equipment grounding conductor that will extend to the load side is terminated at the grounded neutral bar. Moreover, the service equipment enclosure is bonded to the grounded neutral bar using a green screw as the main bonding jumper. If the system is grounded, the grounded neutral conductor from the service must also be connected to the grounded neutral bar. As per the requirements stated in section 250.24e, the grounded neutral bar serves as a common point for linking the grounding electrode conductor, equipment grounding conductor, service equipment enclosure, and the grounded neutral conductor. In another illustration, demonstrate the proper connection of a grounding electrode conductor in a service panel in this example the system is grounded. All equipment grounding conductors for the load side circuit should be connected to the grounded neutral bar. The metal enclosure of the panel must also be connected to the grounded neutral bar via a main bonding jumper. Additionally, since the system is grounded, the service grounded conductor should be connected to the grounded neutral bar. How to determine the size of the grounding electrode conductor? To determine the appropriate size of a grounding electrode conductor, GEC, section 250.66 states that the sizing of the grounding electrode conductor is governed by certain rules. At the service, in each building or structure where it is supplied by feeders or branch circuits, or in a separately derived system of an AC system, the grounding electrode conductor must meet the minimum size requirements specified in Table 250.66, unless certain exceptions outlined in 250.66a through c are applicable. Table 250.66 provides a reference for sizing the conductor based on a specific relationship with conductor size, rather than relying on the rating of the circuit breaker or fuse in the service equipment. According to the requirements, the grounding electrode conductor should have a minimum size of 8 AWG if made of copper and should not exceed 3 aught AWG for copper conductors. In cases where aluminum or copper clad aluminum grounding electrode conductors are installed, they should have a minimum size of 6 AWG and should not exceed 250 KC mil. Stay tuned for a separate discussion focused on section 250.66. Thank you all for watching.